A bit of an unusual video today. It's not about electronics, well, I guess it is about electronics, but, but it's more about programming. Uh, and in particular, uh, it's about these things uh, which have appeared uh, some time ago in Moscow. It says here, um, um, Moscow citizens can uh, now choose their own uh, powers for the um, uh, fair lights uh, near the circus at Vernadsky. Um But there are actually a couple of these things. Let's just uh, run the video and see what they say. Uh, which is going to be in Russian, so I'm sorry for that. Возле Большого Московского цирка на проспекте Вернадского появились волшебные гирлянды. Управлять ими может любой желающий. Инсталляция состоит из четырех цилиндров со свисающими цепочками и шариков. На них то и дело появляются светящиеся елки, звездочки, снежинки и другие символы Нового года. У каждого стоит табличка со специальным QR-кодом. И если поднести к нему телефон, то откроется сайт, где можно выбрать, какие узоры и в каком порядке будут появляться. So that's what I say about this. Um, basically, what they said is that uh, there are these things uh, which are basically cylinders uh, with uh, uh, Christmas lights hanging down them. Uh, and as you saw from the video, um, there is a brain box in there that uh, controls how they light up. Uh, but it also said that uh, near them there's a QR code uh, and if you go to the QR code you get a site uh, where you can basically order it to display a certain pattern. Uh, so I went there. Well, I didn't actually go to this particular place. I went to another place at Lenski Prospect where uh, another one of these installed. And I got the um, uh, address from there and I've opened it on here. I'm sorry that it's in this uh, uh, smallish window. Uh, it just won't work if it's not uh, the right um, uh, pixel size and also not the right uh, uh, user agent code. Uh, so uh, what I'm gonna do uh, is just uh, show you the um, workflow for using this. Um, and then I'll show you a clip that I recorded uh, while I was there, so that you can basically see how it looks like when you're up close to it. Um, so, uh, the question is, how to become a magician, wizard, whatever. Uh, first of all, select a pattern, then uh, the pattern variant uh, launch. You'll have 30 seconds to become the wizard slash magician. Um, uh, will you make it? Uh, yes, I will. Uh, and it uh, starts a timer here, uh, and I'm actually not entirely sure what the timer is for. Uh, so far I haven't been able to identify purpose for it. Uh, so hold on, I'm actually a little bit interested in this. Uh, can I uh, set it so it uh, just stops? Um, maybe just set a breakpoint here. Yeah, it's pause on breakpoint. Um, set the underscore seconds um, value to now I can set it lower than zero I can set it much higher than zero though uh, just so I can show you what uh, is going on without uh, it actually taking over um, is there an inf? Uh, no there is not an inf uh, I am sorry, I can't, I don't really know JavaScript all that well. Um, float of inf. Float is not defined. Um, 1 over 0. Infinity. Okay, uh, so uh, let's just undo the breakpoint. Yeah, now the timer is broke. Uh, right, so uh, you select one of these four um, options. Uh, and I've actually made uh, a document about the uh, process that I had to research it. Uh, the uh, options are called, uh, in my document, uh, Fireworks, Snowflakes, Tree, and Bauble, which kind of reflects the images here. Uh, so let's go Fireworks. Uh, you get uh, to choose an option for the fireworks. 
let's do rocket. Um, start. It says that I'm uh, in a queue of zero people. Um, now it says that uh, my pattern uh, has been run. Uh, and it also says that there are a couple of other places where you can um, find a similar setup. Uh, uh, Prospect Vernadskova 7 is uh, the one that they were referring to in the video. Uh, uh, and I, as far as I can tell, the only difference between them is the uh, stealth key in the, uh, what do you call it, the address bar. Uh, uh, but I didn't want to go all to all of these places to just uh, find uh, one hex value. Uh, so if anybody's interested, maybe you could uh, put uh, down in the comments uh, the values that you have so that uh, other people can try and influence the other things. Uh, so anyway, what I did was I went there uh, just to see what my actions look like and also to get this uh, address because uh, if I understand correctly, if you type in an incorrect address, uh, not address, uh, a stealth key, like change something, yeah, it uh, just shows you a blank screen and this basically means fuck off. Uh, this is an LED display that we have several installed off in Moscow um, at the moment because it's New Year's and apparently people like shiny things for New Year's. Uh, so what this is, is basically uh, your uh, average garden variety LED cube, uh, except there's four of them and it's actually more of an LED cylinder. Uh, and it's also a free color LED, so that's significant. Uh, but another significant thing is that you can control them remote. Uh, there's a QR code in there, which I won't be uh, showing you because it's too far away, but I'll put a link to it in the description. Uh, and if you scan the QR code, uh, you uh, get to a website uh, where you can um, order a certain patterns to be shown on the actual thing itself. Um, so I've um, explored the code for a bit, uh, and here's what I found. So what I did was I went to Leninsky Prospect and I camped out the um, uh, actual shiny shiny in a nearby cafe uh, and uh, this is the code that I came up with. Uh, uh, so I'm just gonna go through it real quick and explain how it works. Um, the base URL for all of this is magictime.mask, but if you actually go there, uh, nothing will happen unless you also send these uh, get parameters, where this is apparently determined by the uh, actual place you're going to. Uh, I also believe you have to have an appropriate user agent, because you can't uh, run it on a desktop. Uh, so, to launch an animation, you first have to um, do an action turn with anime ID and anime type, uh, which refer to the actual animation selection in the uh, uh, WU so on there. Uh, uh, after that, you get uh, a redirect to a page uh, where uh, in the uh, JSON code you have turn ID, which I uh, just parse out here, um, and that can be used uh, to get turn data. Uh, which uh, will basically um, uh, let you uh, query uh, where you are in the queue uh, and cancel your um, turn. However, I haven't had much luck with that, probably because it requires cookies. And I'm actually surprised that uh, it didn't work uh, on account of I didn't expect much of um, you know technical competence from the people who wrote this because basically they're in Russia and I haven't had much luck with uh, uh, Russian uh, state-sponsored uh, stuff. Mm. So basically the method that uh, requests uh, to uh, call a... Um, I'm stumbling over myself here. Uh, so the method that you can use to uh, basically run the default uh, uh, usual uh, protocol uh, I've called override because I also wanted uh, to uh, cancel all the turns uh, that uh, other people have requested. So that basically your animation comes out in front. 
However, as I say, I didn't manage to do this, uh, and it was pretty late, so I uh, didn't stick around to uh, troubleshoot this. Basically, um, that's just get your turn ID, uh, and then uh, loops uh, trying to cancel the previous turns, uh, and if uh, your own turn um, has already been executed, that is, turn status is passed, uh, you uh, exit the function. The other thing I did uh, was just to make um, a loop uh, that spawns a whole bunch of turns so that you can um, queue up uh, a single animation a lot of times. Uh, there are two modes there. Uh, one is for ordering a lot of the same pattern, and the other is for ordering a single pattern, and I was hoping that I would be able to override the existing patterns by cancelling them, but apparently it requires cookies, which is a level of technical competence that I did not expect from the developer's office. So, let's just uh, do uh, an order with tracking. Uh, we need an anime ID. Now, an anime ID is uh, a uh, number uh, corresponding to the animation here. Uh, and there are four types available, uh, and each of them comes in three different flavors. Um, uh, we have uh, uh, firework, um, uh, snowflakes, uh, tree, and bulb. Uh, so let's go firework, uh, and that uh, is number 79, uh, type 81, let's say. Um, so we type that in, 79, type 81. We are currently in the queue, so we've got uh, this animation running now, which you can't actually see very well because the camera doesn't want to focus. Uh, but the point is that I've ordered uh, it to run, and it has run. Uh, so let's try it again with uh, something like uh, let's go 38789. So that will be 0, 87, 89, and yeah, that's a 3, no doubt. And uh, there are a lot of uh, other animations on here. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll uh, be able to record all of them. Uh, if I do, I'll uh, just edit them in after this clip. Uh, but the other mode I've uh, implemented uh, is just ordering a bunch. So uh, let's order 10 um, uh, of what? Let's say um, 10 uh, baubles number 94. Uh, so that will be 91, 94. Uh, uh, you need both of the numbers, which I'm not sure why that is, because they're sequential, but there we are. Uh, so now uh, we have uh, this animation running, uh, which uh, doesn't really seem like uh, baubles all that much. Uh, it's more like uh, just uh, star shapes, uh, but the point is that we have them running, uh, and mm, we have 10 of them running. Uh, we actually have the order numbers here, uh, which are called turns in the code. Uh, uh, so uh, 10 of those will run, and then it will uh, go back to its uh, demo mode. I didn't actually stick around to record all of the animations, uh, and uh, I'm guessing that it doesn't really matter all that much. Um, uh, it's just that it was uh, getting pretty cold out there and all of my batteries were discharging real fast. Uh, so, uh, I'm just uh, gonna uh, show real quick um, uh, the uh, program in action as uh, compared to what other people around the um, uh, interactive thing we'll see. Uh, so let's just uh, close down the text editor, um, uh, run the app. Mm. Uh, so the uh, override option, uh, I didn't actually implement uh, a nice menu like they did, uh, but I do have this document here 
uh, and it has the mm, anime IDs and anime types. So let's go uh, snowflakes type 3. So that will be 83, 86. Uh, so basically, this is what happens. Uh, it um, says that um, the uh, status info is okay. Um, I'm not sure if it ever returns not okay. Uh, term number is zero because um, and this is uh, currently executed. And term status is wait because uh, it is not in the past. And when it is in the past, uh, it uh, shows uh, as such and then exits. Uh, the interesting thing uh, is if you uh, launch a whole bunch of these, so uh, let's just spawn 20 of what? Uh, let's go uh, bombles 91, 92. Also, I understand that in that video, uh, I actually had the uh, bubbles um, that uh, were star shaped, so that's why there are a lot of stars. But I didn't figure it out until now, so good for me. Um, so, this is the turn numbers that it has uh, just queued up. And now, if a normal person tries to uh, run something, Actually, there are no star shaped bubbles in here, so why was that? Maybe this is the one that they're referring to. Anyway, you launch it, and there are 18 people in the queue. 18 people in the queue. Um, so let's just try my override thing. Uh, that uh, Let's try to override with the uh, fireworks type 80. Uh, uh, it says here that uh, it's trying to cancel them, uh, and it is genuinely trying. However, uh, it doesn't uh, raise any uh, errors. Um, uh, actually, now that I'm here and I have some time spare, uh, I'm just rambling here after all, I can try and cancel my turn here. Um, uh, let's just say I got bored there. Um, and uh, what happens here no, that's uh, an FAQ. I didn't do persistent logs. Shite. Um, let's uh, launch something else. We have 12 people in the queue. Um, 12 people that all have the same IP address. Um, uh, so that's the uh, sending one. Um, this is the cancelling one. Um, it has the style and cell uh, key, action is cancel, turn ID is turn ID. Um, but I'm guessing that these cookies must refer to something, uh, because this uh, cancellation doesn't seem to particularly work. Or maybe it doesn't cancel at all and uh, it's just a placebo to uh, get you back to the main menu. Uh, I'm not sure why they'd implement a whole new verb for that, but, you know, maybe that's a thing that they did not know how to do. Uh, so basically the point is that I've uh, now run a whole bunch of somethings uh, in here. Mm, I could optimize it so that it don't try to cancel things that are in the past. Uh, but the point is that now I get to uh, wait for five more people uh, animations to finish uh, and after that um, the animation that I requested here will run um, so yeah that's a thing that exists and now that I have the API for it uh, I can just try and um, do a DDoS attack on it I mean that could work Right, so I've implemented a thing for uh, the DDoS thing. Uh, it's not actually DDoS uh, because it's just from a single host. Uh, and uh, because it's from a single host, there's no way in hell that I'm running this on my own IP address. So I'm running it through uh, the uh, Tor stock proxy. Um, 
and I haven't tested it yet. I just want to see first if uh, it actually uh, uh, hides my IP address. Um, uh, and I don't have the uh, dependencies installed. Mm. All right, wait one. Um, requests songs. Yeah, so now we have mm, the wrong origin, and that's a good thing. Uh, let's just try it again. Yeah, that's the same one. Um, so let's just uncomment this uh, and unleash uh, demons on the world, I guess. Random is not fun. Fuck hell. Um, Yeah, this is what happens when you try to do this sort of stuff. So then you may go to non the keyword argument proxies. Fuck okay. hell. Hmm. Well, let's just add one. Hmm. This one, I think, does accept uh, keyword arguments. Survey says... Yeah, so now it's adding things to the queue. Mm, unfortunately, it does seem to be doing it very slowly. Um, so that won't work for an actual DDoS attack, or a regular DOS attack for that matter. Well, I guess, well no actually, because a DOS attack implies that you can't use it, but you can use it if you wait uh, for the 14 people queue to pass. So, that thing, um, hold on, um, if I just uh, uncomment this, I just uh, don't uh, use the proxies now. Uh, I'm not going to run it for very long because I don't want to get my IP address flagged because I do have a static IP address. Um, and uh, since it's Russia, I think that they can quite easily uh, figure out who I am from that blip. Um So that was... Uh, more of a Tor problem than I think. Uh, however, it does seem to be working pretty slowly here, and I guess that's due to the fact that I'm uh, checking um, the uh, uh, information on every uh, loop. So how about I just don't do this, I guess. Let's just try this real quick. Mm. Because I don't really care about uh, how much I've uh, managed um, on account of proxies is not defined. Okay, okay. Um, mm. Survey says it doesn't seem to work to work at all. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, okay, give me a moment. I'm just going to try and troubleshoot this. Right, I think they may have implemented some rate limiting. I'm not sure. Uh, what I do know is that there are 165 unaccounted people here. Um, actually, no, wait. Uh, they didn't do the rate limiting because I actually... No, wait, I am printing out the stats. Ah, it's because there's no flush. Uh, and that makes sense. Uh, so if I just add a new line here, no, it does seem to work pretty slowly. I'm, I've no idea why. Like somehow it managed to add a whole bunch of people, like uh, relatively quickly. Or is it adding more than one person at once? 
I have no idea. Like, now we have 182. What is going on? Or maybe it's the tour. Probably the tour. Um, let's just switch that around. Ah, right, of course. So that works considerably faster now. Um, so apparently, if you just uh, let it run for a while, you'll just uh, get um, a, a whole bunch of uh, fake people here. And now when real people try and come in, they get a queue of 232 people you can't see. So this is basically the only viable attack I found against the system. Uh, I've been looking... Actually, the main reason I went there is because I wanted to figure out how to add uh, your own patterns to this. Because all of the ones that uh, you've seen there, to me at least, are pretty boring. Uh, but apparently that's not a thing that you can do. Like, you can try and do uh, stupid things like action admin. And... Um, nope, that's just empty page however it is an empty page with formatting so I'm not sure what's going on there I don't uh, have any idea of what's happening right now uh, but uh, the point is that I have this code uh, which uh, basically can interface with uh, the web app uh, and I'm going to put a link to the code and to the web app uh, and to uh, uh, this document which I wrote uh, my notes in. However, I don't really have a lot of uh, useful notes here uh, beyond the old version of the app. Well, actually, I don't think you need to get this document as well. So uh, I'm going to add a link to the code uh, and to the website. Uh, so that you can play around with it yourself. Uh, and if you live in Moscow, you can try and visit one of the um, places that... Uh, if I go to Action Finish, maybe you can see which places uh, there are. Um, uh, so you can go to Park Zahedia, or Plosik Gagarina, or Pravsa Yuzna, or Prospect Vernadskova Seven, or Hedinskova Polya, uh, or to Leninsky Prospect. Uh, and uh, just try and play around with this, uh, see what you can do. Uh, 